Hello, hello. Hello, Marvin. Hello, hello. teacher. Hello, teacher. Silvia. Hello, teacher. Hello, Abby. teacher. You changed your name, Abby. Very good. Mauricio, welcome. Mirna. Hello. I'm happy to see you again, right? Today is Friday. It's party day, right? <laughs> party today. <laughs> no, right? No, we have to work. <laughs> okay. But maybe tomorrow, right, or Sunday, you can go out. But be careful, right? Use your, your mask to protect. Huh? Because the coronavirus is very dangerous, eh? Good. Now, let's begin with the class. Let's begin with the class. I will share the window. We're going to practice. Let me see. Oops. Um, sorry. Give me a second. Give me a second. I will open the... Ah, yes, yes, this is it. Okay, one, two, three, here, right? Yes, sharing the screen. Yes, this is the one. Okay. Now, can you see my screen? Yes, can you see? Yes. Okie dokie, very good. Now, we're going, as we always do, we're going to make a review, right? And let's start with the video. Yes, no question and short answer with B. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Let's watch the video again, right? We watched the video yesterday, but today we're going to repeat. If you have any extra question, right? By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to make yes-no questions and give short answers with B. Yes-no questions and short answers with B. Are you free? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. No, he's not. No, he isn't. Is Beth's class in the morning? Yes, it is. No, it's not. No, it isn't. Are you and Beth in the same class? Yes, we are. No, we're not. No, we aren't. Are your classes interesting? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Take a look at the questions in the chart again. Are you free? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. No, he's not. Or no, he isn't. See the structure of the questions. B plus subject plus complement plus question mark. Keep in mind the verb B will depend on the subject we're talking about. Also, when answering an affirmative, you have to always say yes, he is. Yes, we are. Yes, you are. Your answer should not be just yes. You do the same with negative answers. When your answer is no, you have to answer by saying no, he's not, or no, he isn't. Okay, now we're going to make a special exercise. Listen to me, pay attention to the instruction, right? Uh, give me a second here. Close it. Yes and open it here, right? Okay, good. Now, uh, we are going to do something. Listen, pay attention, pay attention to the instruction. All the boys in this class, right? All the boys in this class, Marvin Castro, um, Mauricio, Luis Canales, um, Mauricio Alarcón, right? You are going to make the question, okay? Understand? The question. Now, all the girls, all the girls, Mirna, Rocio, Silvia, Cristina, Veronica, Abby, and Dinora, you're going to say the answer. Example, right? The boys, you're going to say, are you free? And the girls, you're going to say, yes, I am, okay? Only affirmative, only affirmative, okay? Let's see, let's see. 
Okay, I will count three, right? Ready? Boys, you make the question, boys. Turn on your microphones. Turn on your microphones. One, two, three. Uh, is David from Mexico? No, 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 no. Number one. Uh, Number one. Are, are you free? free? Right? Ready? Are you free? Wait, 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 wait. One, two, three. Are you free? Are you free? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay, number two, number two, boys. Is David from Mexico? Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. Yes, yes, he, is. Is. yes he is. No, he's not. Number three. Is Beth class, class in the morning? Is Beth class in yes. the morning? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Number four. No, it is. Number four. Are, are you Beth? Are you are and Beth, you and Beth in, the in the same class? Same class? Yes, we are. Yes, yes, we are. Yes, we are. Number five. Number five. Are, are you are you interesting? 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 Yes, they are. Yes, they, yes, they are. are. Yes, they are. Clap to you. Clap. Congratulations. Now, <laughs> we're going to do the opposite. The girls, you're going to read the question. The girls, you're going to read the question. And the boys are going to answer, but negative, negative, okay? Yes. So you're going to say, no, I am not, no, he's not, no, it's not, no, we're not, and no, they are not. Only the first part, right? La segunda pregunta negativa, no. La segunda respuesta negativa, no. Esa no la vean, solo la primera negativa. Okay? Understand? Yes. Okay, now, girls, you make the question, boys, you make the answer negative, okay? Girls, one, two, three. Are you free? Are you free? Are you free? No, 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 I am not. not. Is, is, is David from, from Mexico? Mexico? No, he's not. No, he's, he's not. not. Is there class, class in the morning? morning? Class in no, the morning? It, no, he's not. No, it's not. Are you and Beth in the same class? Are you... No, we're, no, we're, we're not. not. Are you class in the morning? They are not. They're not. They're not. Okie dokie, it was better. It was better, congratulations. <laughs> I like it a lot, me gustó mucho. Okay, now, she's our yes, has no question, right? Now, let's continue with the next part. Let me see, 1.12. 1.12. This is the one, right? Uki, the yes, no answer, right? Uh, por ahí había alguien que tenía dificultades con este ejercicio. Vamos a hacerlo juntos, okay? Okay. Now it says, answer these questions about yourself. La respuesta es personal, right? Remember to give either a compliment, affirmative or negative answer. So it's affirmative or negative, right? Affirmative or negative. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, I will erase this part. Now, I need a volunteer. Tell me, me, teacher uh, Mauricio, or me, teacher Rocio, my, me, teacher Marvin, etc., etc., okay? Volunteers for number one? Yes, I am from United States. Uh -huh. Your name, please, your name, Marvin. Marvin. Marvin Castro. Okay, Marvin, I will copy. Wait a minute. Yes or no, Marvin? Yes. Yes. Remember the two options are correct. You can say yes or you can say no. No problem. Uh -huh. Yes. I am from. I am from. United States. The state. United States, right? Period, right? Punto y final. Okay? Yes. Okay. You can also say, yes, I'm contraction, right? No problem. Um, okay. Thank you, Marvin. Thank you very much. Now, uh, the next one, please. Number two, volunteers. Tell me your name, please. Volunteers. Hey, teacher, Rocio. Rocio. Thank you, Rocio. Uh-huh. Yes or no, Rocio? Uh, no. No. He doesn't from Canada. He? He's not. No, he is not 
From Canada, you say, right? From Canada. Peter, right? ¿Le ponemos punto, sí o no, Rocío? Sí. Yes, okay, good. Number three, please, volunteers. Volunteers. Me, teacher, Cristina. Cristina, thank you, Cristina. Please, number three, yes or no, Cristina? Uh, no, he's no, no. No. It is. No, sorry, sorry. It Wait. Is... Sorry. <laughs> no, ah, oh, excuse no, me. No, teacher, no. Okay, <laughs> okay, no. It is not. No, he is. No, 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 not. no, no. No, it. It is oh. not. Wait, it. Yes. No, it is not. In the morning. In the morning. Peter, right? Okay, yes. let me see. Let's continue. Now, volunteer for number four. Me, teacher. Okay, name? Hey, Larissa. <laughs> ah, okay. Larissa, number four. Okay, are you and your best friend the same age? So it's, yeah, we... Uh, yes or no? Yes. 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 We are the same age. We are the same age. Okie dokie, let me see. Yes. Is your English class... Uh-huh, very good. Congratulations, you have a 10. Excellent. You practice very well. Is, eh, hicieron muy bien el ejercicio anterior y tienen 10 en el examen. Congratulations. And to finish the review, what's in the name, right? Este se lo quedé debiendo ayer. Listen, I will read for you. I will read for you. Let me see. Just give me a second here. I move this. And I move this. Okay, now, what's in a name? Look at the names in the article. Do you know any people who this with these names? What are they like? ¿Cómo son ellos? ¿Cómo es esta gente que tiene estos nombres? Your name is very important. When you think of yourself, you probably think of your name first, right? El nombre suyo es muy importante. Cuando decimos Cristina, Marvin, Mauricio, right? It's very important because it's your identity. It's, it is important part of your identity, identity, right? Right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls, right? Los nombres más populares en Estados Unidos. Why are these names popular? And why are some names unpopular? ¿Por qué algunos nombres son populares y otros no, right? In El Salvador, for example, Steven is very popular, right? But Casildo, Casildo is not, not, not popular, eh? Names can become popular because of famous actors, TV or book characters or athletes, right? Athletes. Eh, por ahí me he dado cuenta que varios le han puesto Cristiano Ronaldo, sus hijos, o Lionel Messi, right? <laughs> okay, so that's very common. Popular names. Depende de la novela también. Sorry? Depende de la novela que esté viendo. <laughs> yes. Eh, Edgardo Manuel. <laughs> okay. O Francisco Manuel. <laughs> so according to the to so popular, in English you say... Ma, eh, novela se dice soap opera, soap opera. Ok, good, continue. Popular names suggest very positive things. Unpopular names suggest negative things, right? Los nombres bonitos, cosas positivas, los nombres feos, cosas negativas. Surprisingly, people generally agree on the way they feel about names. La gente está de acuerdo. Here are some common opinions about names and recent survey, right? Una reciente investigación. Uh, 
George, for example, Jorge, means average, es el promedio de gente, gente normal. Boring, un poquito aburrido, right? Jacob, Jacobo, right? Creative, friendly, creativo y amigo. Michael, Miguel, good looking. No hay ningún Miguel aquí, no. Athletic. Stanley. Nerdy, oh, nerd, right? Serious. Now, girls, Betty, old fashioned, un poquito uh, vestida de la moda pasada, right? And average, the, el promedio. Emily, independent, adventurous. Jane is plain, plana. Ordinary, right? Ordinary. And Nicole, Nicole, beautiful and intelligent. So, why do parents give their children unpopular names? They give us the biggest reason is tradition. ¿Por qué algunos niños se llaman Hermenegildo, Casildo, Petronilo, right? The reason is the tradition. Como el abuelo así se llamaba, así le pusieron el cipote, right? So many people are named after a family member. Of course, opinions can change, right? Las opiniones cambian. A name that is unpopular now eh, become popular in the future. Puede ser que en los 70, eh, Fernanda José pueda ser no muy popular, pero ahora sí, en el presente sí, Fernanda es común, ¿verdad? Y se oye bonito, ¿ah? ¿eh? Ok, o María José, right? Now, that's good news for all the Georges and Betty's out there, right? Son buenas noticias para todos los que se llaman Jorge y Betty. Que puede ser que en el futuro sean mejores los nombres. Okie dokie. Now, uh, according to the article, right, uh, you're going to tell me true or false, right? Again, number one, your name is part of your identity. Volunteer, yes. please say your name. Say your true. name. It's true. 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 Who says true? True. True. Your name. It's true. It's true. 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 Okay. Yes. Very good. Now, number two, people often feel the same way about a particular name. Uh-huh, please. True or false? True. La gente a veces true. se siente de la misma forma. Todos los Jorge se sienten iguales. Todas las eh, Fernando se sienten iguales. True or false? True. True. Okay, okay. Number three. Boys' names are more popular than girls' names. Los nombres de los muchachos son más populares. False. 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 Okay, now, people of the name after family members. True. 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 Opinions about names can change. True. 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 True, yes. Yes, very good. Now, let's check if it is, we are correct. Certainly. Cling! Totally correct. Perfect score. Very good. So that's it, right? Now that was the review. Now let's go to the class today. Now we officially finish section one, right? Oficialmente hemos terminado la section uno. Todos tienen que haber completado estos ejercicios ya. Okay? Para que obtengamos nuestro certificado. Si hay alguna pregunta todavía de algún ejercicio, este es el momento. This is the moment. The moment of truth. Say now and be quiet forever, right? Díganlo ahora, ahora o créanlo para siempre. ¿Hay algún ejercicio que todavía les, les cuesta? ¿Algo que no hayan hecho? ¿No? Don't be afraid. No tengan miedo. Ah. I like the questions. Me gustan las preguntas. Me gusta explicar. I like that, right? No? No. Now. Okay, let's go to section number two, right? And for section number two, I'm going to make the PowerPoint presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, the PowerPoint presentation. Today, we're going to practice a conversation. Where do you work? We're going to watch a video, WH questions and statements. 
oraciones, right? Statement. And the conversation, I start work at five. So we have two conversations and we have a video about grammar, right? Good, now let's start now, let's begin. The lesson objective, please. Dinora, can you read Dinora the objective for the class? Okay. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jokes using WH question words as well as statements. Thank you very much. So we're going to practice this conversation in which we're going to use WH question. En la conversación vamos a usar esto, WH question. And statement, right? Oraciones. Oraciones, usando el presente simple. Okay, that's nice. Now let's begin. Vocabulary, guide, great, hard time, heaven, midnight, recognize, weather, right? Okay, now repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Guide, great, hard time. Heaven, midnight, recognize, recognize, weather. Okie dokie, any questions about vocabulary? Yes, teacher. Okay, tell me, please, tell me. What does it mean recognize? Recognize, reconocer, right? Ah, okay. Recognize, reconocer. Good. Por ahí pasó el sereno, vamos a ver. Okay, please. No, no more questions? Eh, la número uno, ¿qué significa? Number one, guide, guía. It okay. could be a, a word, an occupation, right? Guía turístico, for example, tourist guide. It could be a spiritual guide. Una guía espiritual, bueno, Dios es nuestra guía espiritual, por supuesto. So, that's a guide. O your parents, right? Sus papás pueden ser una guía también, guide. Good. Teacher, what is midnight? Midnight. Ah, midnight. Midnight is the 12 p.m., la 12 de la medianoche. Ah, ok. La hora de los sustos, right? Ok, midnight. Now, any other question? Teacher. Yes, Cristina? What is the number four? Number heaven. four is heaven, the paradise. The paradise, heaven. Okay, where everybody wants to go, right? Donde todos nos queremos ir, al paraíso. <laughs> cielo, right? Some people say al cielo, al paraíso, right? Okay, uno okay. cree que en la tierra, otro cree en el cielo, etc., etc. But it's the heaven, el paraíso. Okay? Now, let's continue. And that was the conversation. But for the grammar, we have uh, uh, another objective, right? So, Sylvia, can you read the objective for the class, please? Okay, lesson objective. Be the hand of the lesson participant will be able to understand and use simple present. Thank you very much. It says understand, but I'm sorry, it's understand, right? No, comimos la S. Understand, okay. <laughs> yes, yo, yo me comí la S, no me preocupes. So understand. <laughs> now, and we're going to see this uh, simple present WH question, right? But listen, I will explain first the use of yes, no, and information question. Le voy a explicar la diferencia entre preguntas de sí y preguntas de información, right? Let's start with the yes, no question. In the yes, no question, we always answer yes or no. Simple like that. Or yes or no, no more, right? Lo único que les pregunta a ustedes es si sí o si no. Okay? For example, are you Pedro? Uh, I live in San Salvador. No, 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 no. Lo que les estoy preguntando es si se llama Pedro. Okay? Diga sí o no. Pero si ya me están diciendo otra cosa, la pregunta no está bien contestada, ¿ok? 
So yes, no question, I repeat only yes or no, right? Example, are you a student? Yes, I am a student. Oh, can you speak French? No, I can't speak French. Do you live in San Salvador? Yes, I live in San Salvador. Okay, notice that number one, verb to be. Number two, can, and number three, Simple present with do and that, right? La primera pregunta usamos el verbo to be. En la segunda usamos el modal can de habilidades, ¿verdad? Y en la tercera es el presente simple, pero todas son preguntas de sí y no. Now, the information question. Where is my pencil? My pencil is on the desk. What can you do? I can drive a car. When do you go? Ah, uh, sorry, aquí, aquí es where, por aquí otro error, sí, pues, where, ¿a dónde? Ahí nos equivocamos. Where do you go? ¿A dónde vas? I go to my house, right? Ok, look at the difference. Veamos la diferencia entre la respuesta de sí y no y la respuesta de información. En la de sí y no, solo yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. <coughs> Excuse me. But when I say, where is my pencil? I don't say, where is my pencil? Yes, I am. <laughs> no, right? No. You give a specific information. Cuando me preguntan, ¿dónde está el lápiz? Yo digo, ah, está en el escritorio. <clears throat> What can you do? ¿Qué es lo que tú puedes hacer? Ah, yo puedo manejar un carro, right? Where do you go? ¿A dónde vas? I go, uh, yo me voy a mi casa. So in this case, when you give information question, the information is specific, right? Good. Do you understand the difference? ¿Entendemos la diferencia entre las preguntas de sí y no y las preguntas de información? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Yes. Okay, good. Yes. And also remember that information question receive another name. Otro nombre que reciben estas preguntas es WH question, right? ¿Por qué? Porque todas inician con una palabra que lleva WH. Ok, now. After this, después de esta aclaración, I will give you examples of WH question, right? In the simple present. WH question in the simple present. We use the WH question word when the auxiliary do or does, the subject they, the verb go, and the complement on weekend, right? I will show you the difference, right? No quiero que me las confunda, right? En esta usamos is, en esto usamos can y aquí usamos do. Estas son las que vamos a ver, las que nos interesan ahorita, ¿ok? Good, now. Then, another example, what does he like to eat? When do they go on weekends? What does he like to eat? Notice that in this case, we can use the question words. When, what, where, who, why, how, which. Who's whom? Okay? We can use these words. Estas palabras podemos utilizar cuando usamos la WH question. And also the auxiliar do and does. We use do for I, you, we, and they. And we use, <coughs> I'm sorry, does with he, she, and it. Okay, so these are the parts of the WH question in simple present, right? In simple present. Oh, sorry, do you have any question? <clears throat> me, teacher. I yes, tell me, please. <clears throat> um, diferencia de what and which? Ah, what, well, in realidad, what? Y which vienen siendo lo mismo. Uh, podemos usar what o which en la misma situación. Es cuando hay que escoger algo. Uh, por ejemplo, uh, what is your favorite color? ¿Cuál es su color favorito? ¿Cuál es su color favorito? Uh, white. Uh, white. Ok, so. Which color do you like? White or blue? And then you say uh, white. I also can say, what color do you like? Okay? 
Entonces, el what es más general, perdón. Y el which es más específico. Nos habla de una opción. ¿Ok? Kenneth, what is your favorite uh, ice cream? Your favorite um, ice cream? Sorry? Vanilla and chocolate. Vanilla, right? So in this case, Kenneth, which ice cream flavor do you like? Which? And then, Kenneth says, I'm vanilla, right? Okay, understand? So it's in, in Spanish, cual? Cual de esto, right? And what is also que o cual, right? Teacher, Pero and... El, el which es más específico de opción. Understand? Yeah, for, for, for that example, when I, I will use the, the one, one, for example, which one? Ah, okay. Uh, which one? The question, which one? La pregunta, mm. which one, Kenneth? O, o me está preguntando en cuál va a usar which y en cuál va a usar what? No, no, ¿cuándo se usa el complemento one? Ah, one. Eh, el one es un pronombre. Es singular. También está el pronombre plural, once. ¿Ok? Eh, en lugar de decir uh, un nombre, decimos one. En este caso, usted tiene dos carros, ¿sí? You have a blue car and a red car, right? Entonces le digo, ¿cuál de estos carros le gusta? Which one do you like? ¿Cuál de estos? Cuando, en lugar de decir which car, en lugar de decir which car, digo, which one. Y el one me está sustituyendo al carro, ¿ok? Otro ejemplo sería, eh, ¿qué país le gustaría... Visitar Guatemala o México, right? Which one? El one, nuevamente, eh, sustituye al país, al country, right? Entonces decimos mm. which one. Pero si okay. usted tiene eh, tres mangos a un lado, ¿verdad? Y tres mangos a otro lado, uno está verde y los otros maduros, entonces usted va a decir, which ones do you like? ¿Cuáles te gustan? Which ones? ¿Por qué? Porque once es plural. Son varios mangos. Mm -hmm. ¿Ok? Entonces, okay. One, one is singular, once is plural. Y sustituyen al nombre. ¿Ok? okay. Entendido. Ah, teacher. perdón, Gracias. y se me olvidaba decirle, es indefinido, ¿verdad? Porque no se sabe si es ella, si es él. No se sabe, ¿verdad? Por eso se llama indefinite pronoun. Pronombre indefinido. Ok. okay. Good, any other question? So let's continue. Here we go. Now we're going to go to statements. Ahora cómo hacer oraciones, right? It's more simple, right? We use the subject, the verb, and the complement. Subject, verb, and complement. I live in Santa Ana. I is the subject, live is the verb, and Santana, and Santana is the complement. She is the subject, lives is the verb, and in San Miguel is the complement. Okay? But then you can say, hey, pero ahí dice live y abajo dice lives. Yeah. In third person singular, we add an S. Le agregamos una S al verbo, pero hay ciertas reglas para agregarle esa S. When it's third person singular, he, she, and it. Pay attention, please. Prestemos atención porque estas reglas son un poquito complicadas. Attention. Add S to the verb. La mayoría de verbos, cuando es tercera persona, he, she, o it, le vamos a agregar una S. ¿Ok? Presente simple, tercera persona. ¿Ok? Instead of say, uh, she wears, we say, she wears. Instead of say he work, we say he works. Instead of say Mauricio A, we say Mauricio pays with S, right? Pays. Understand? Entonces, al 95% de verbos solo le agregamos la S. Now, ¿qué pasa con el otro 5%? Aproximadamente. Uh, ending in Y after consonant. Los verbos que terminan en Y después de una consonante. Lo que vamos a hacer es cambiar esa Y 
Y le vamos a agregar la, la I. The Y to I. La Y por la I latina, right? For example, carry, llevar. Carry. We change the Y to I. Cambiamos la Y por I aquí. Y luego le agregamos ES. Carry, carries. I carry, he carries. You carry, she carries. Try. Uh, Veronica, I try and Veronica tries. Okay. Rule number three. Ending with S, Z, Z S, H, S, C, H, S, X, K, or O. O, right? After consonant. Cuando el verbo termina en una Z, en una S, en una SH, en una CHX o en una O, le vamos a agregar una ES al final. Example. Just give me a second here. Teach. ¿Con qué letra termina teach? Enseñar. CH, right? So, we're going to add the ES. Teaches. Teaches. Pass. Pasar, right? It ends with an S. So, passes. Go, you know, it ends with an O, right? So we say goes. And the exception, la, siempre hay alguien que sale del vocal, pues aquí tenemos un verbo, rebelde. Have, you don't say have is, have is, no, no. Have is, has, is irregular, right? Or the verb to be, you don't say he this, she this, no, right? No, it's she is, he is, right? Okay, good. Any question? Question? No. no. Remember, this is the simple present. Simple present. Estas reglas solo son para el presente simple. ¿Ok? Ya vimos la estructura de las preguntas y ahora estamos viendo la estructura de las oraciones. Sentences, right? Good. Any question? Do you want me to send this PowerPoint presentation to the group? Quisieran que les enviara esta presentación de PowerPoint al grupo? Yes. 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 Good. Yes. 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 No problem. Okay, good. Now, to finish, we're going to make a practice. Again, right? We're going to practice. Uh, in this case, listen. Where do you live? What language do you speak? Where do you work? What do you do every day? What are these? Que son estas? Yes, no question, right? Yes, no question. Yes no. or no? No, right? Information question, right? Information question. Good. Now, in the information question, remember, WH word, modal, sorry, auxiliary, subject and verb, right? La palabra de WH, el auxiliar, el sujeto y el verbo. Now, please. We're going to do something, right? Uh, I will ask some students. And you are going to answer the, the four questions. Iba a hacer separación de grupos, pero no nos va a alcanzar el tiempo. Así que lo vamos a hacer todos juntos, ¿ok? Good. Now, listen. I will start with number one. Alicia. Alicia... Madrid, Spanish, Buffalo Wings, sing Spanish song. Now, question number one for Alicia. Listen, where do you live? I live in Madrid. What language do you speak? I speak Spanish. Where do you work? I work in Buffalo Wings. What do you do every day? I sing Spanish song. Okay? Now, let me see who's going to start. Marvin Lue. Lue, sorry. Marvin Lue. Siempre lo voy a pronunciar mal. I'm sorry, Mar Marvin. Marvin Lue, listen. I will make the question, and you suppose you're Alicia, Marvin. Okay, ready? Now, excuse me, where do you live? I, I live in Madrid. What language do you speak? 
I speak Spanish. And tell me, please, where do you work? I work in Buffalo Wings. And what do you do every day? I sing Spanish song. Good, thank you. Now, Mirna, please. Mirna, ready? Or Alicia, again, listen. You are Alicia in this moment, okay? Alicia, where do you live? Um, live... I lost. <laughs> I live in? I live in Madrid. <laughs> Madrid, okay. What language do you speak? I speak Spanish. And where do you work, Alicia? I work in Buffalo Wings. Okay. And Alicia, what do you do every day? I I sing in Spanish song. Okay. Vicente Fernandez, right? No. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Okay, now, number two. Kenji. Now, please. Kenneth. In this moment, you are Kenneth, right? Yes. Excuse Kenji. me. Kenji, where do you live, Kenji? I live in Tokyo. In what language do you speak, Kenji? I speak Japanese. Ah, very good. Thank you. And where do you work? I work in a bank. Uh-huh. And tell me, what do you do every day? Sorry, teacher? What do you do every day? I watch Japanese programs. Thank you very much. Now, uh, Kenneth, you make the question to Cristina. I'm a little tired, okay. Kenneth. Ya estoy un poquito cansado de tanto hablar, así que usted me va a ayudar a hacer unas preguntas. <laughs> no problem, okay. teacher. You make It's the okay. question and Cristina, Cristina, you are Kenji, okay? Now, one, okay, two, teacher. three. Uh, would you put another question or the same? No, no. Where, uh, you say, Kenji, where do you live? Ah, what okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Kenji, where do you live? I live in Tokyo. And where are you from? Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. Uh, what language do you speak, Kenji? I speak Japanese. And you work? I work in a bank. And what are you doing? Uh, I oh, watch... Sorry, excuse me. What do you do, right? Ah, what do you do? Okay, ah, Because I'm what sorry. are you doing is present continuous. Ah, what ah, do you do? Okay. Kenji, what do you do? I watch Japanese programs. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Christina. You like Japanese programs, Christina? No. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hay una novela bien triste ahí, va, donde <laughs> sale llorando los japoneses. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Number three. Uh, in this case, let me see. Veronica, you may question Veronica to Mauricio Perez. Okay. Yo le pregunto, teacher. Yes, and Mauricio, sorry, Mauricio, but you're going to okay. speak. Okay. Now, one, two, three. Mauricio, where do you live? Uh, I live in Paris. Okay. What language, language do you speak? I speak French. Where do you work? I work in a factory. What do you do every day? I eat French food. Okay, okay. delicious, right? Thank you, congratulations. <laughs> like ratatouille, eh? Delicious food, right? <laughs> Now, Martin Castro, you made the question to Rocio, right? Rocio, you're going to be Nicole, right? Okay, okay Martin, ready? Okay. One, two, three. Nicole, where do you live? I live in Paris. Uh, what language do you speak? I speak French. Where do you work? I work in a factory. What do you do 
every day? I eat French food. Thank you. Number four, please. And in this case, let me see. We're going to do something. Um, Mauricio, you made the question, Mauricio. And Abby and Sylvia. Abby and Sylvia, you're going to be Eric and Monica, right? Understand? So Abby and Sylvia, you answer we, we, right? Understand? Abby? Yes. Yes, okay, good. Now, Mauricio, understand, Mauricio? Eh, yo, Alarcón. Oh, Mauricio. Ah. Hello, Mauricio, me escucha. Hi, yes. yes. So you made the questions, and Silvia and Abby answer, right? So, Eric and Monica. Okay. Okay. Now, one, Eric and Monica. two, three. Where do you live? I live, I live in, in no, Berlin. Silvia, Silvia, wait, wait. We live in Berlin. But listen, Abby and Silvia at the same time, right? Al mismo tiempo. Okay. 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 Now, Mauricio. Okay. Mauricio, you repeat the question. What? Where do you live? Okay. Where do you live? Ready? One. Where do you live? Oh, I'm sorry. Where do you live? I we live, live in Berlin. Berlin. What language do you speak? Um, um, we speak um, Japanese. <laughs> Sorry, mm. ahí se me olvidó ponerle. Uh -huh. Ahí tiene que ser Germany. Germany. <laughs> Germany. Germany. <laughs> Germany. No, Germany es alemán. German. Sí. German. Germany. Okay. What okay. Also, okay, ready? I speak German. Okay. One, two, three. No, sorry, we speak, right? One. Uh -huh. We speak Germany. Germany. German. German. Where do you? Yes, German. Where do you work? We work in the office. office. What do you every day? We read their newspaper. newspaper. Okie dokie. Thank you very much, right? Excellent. Now we're going to go to the platform, right? Okay. Now, let me see. It's 2.1, right? The conversation. Huh? Sorry. Uh, yeah, right. EA. Sorry, no, no, no. Hay algo malo en esto. No es esta. Sorry. Excuse me, excuse me. Give me a second. Give me a second, please. It's section two, right? I'm sorry. Yes. Where do you work is the, the conversation. Okay. Hi everyone, welcome to section two. How do you spend your day? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using WH question words as well as statements. Where do you work? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger Heaven, right? I imagine the hamburgers are very delicious there, right? Okay, now repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Where do you work, Andrea? Where do you work? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? 
What do you do there? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours. Tours. I take people on tours to countries in South America. South. South America. Like Peru. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student. And I have a part-time job too. Part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Now, Kenneth, listen, this is, you can say, which one? Which one? Uh-huh. But in this case, you say the name of a restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Okay. Hamburger Heaven. Okay, now, to practice this conversation very fast, simple, right? Jason are the boys, Andrea is the girls, right? Understand? Are you ready? Ready yes, to go. We are. Okay. Yes. One, Jason, boys, are you ready? One, two, three. Where, Where do you work, Andrea? I work, I work at Thomas for travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I am a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America. So they can make life better. Oh, how interesting. Yes, yes, I'm glad to have a lot of fun. What do you do? What do you do? I am a student and I have a partner who is a part time job too. Oh, where do you work? Where do you work? In a fast food in a restaurant. In a fast food restaurant. restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger, Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger Heaven. Okay, sorry, girls. Por un poquito le ganaron, le ganaron los chicos esta vez. I'm sorry. Okay. Good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good, good. That's it, right? Now we're going to finish with the last video. Ah, sorry. No le check, right? Tenemos tarea aquí. Yeah. Uh, simple present WH question words. Tenemos que hacer esto, ¿verdad? En casita. Para comenzar la sección 2. Yes? Okay. So we only answer does or do, right? Goes or go. How, where. O only one of the two options, right? Solo uno de las dos opciones. Okay. Now we're going to finish with this video. Vamos a finalizar la, la clase con este video, con esta conversación. Ready? In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where time expressions are first introduced. I start work at five. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? Yes, I do. What time yeah. do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Good, good. Oops, sorry. Algo malo pasó aquí, sorry. Okay, give me a second. 
day four uh, of the first week, expressing sorry. regrets and hypothetical situations review. Sorry, sorry. Ahí estamos ya, okay, good. Now, please, uh, repeat after me, please repeat after me, the second conversation. So, uh -huh. do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Only Christina, please. Only Christina. The gym the so, only Christina. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Thank you. Now, everybody. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Quiero papá el micrófono, Cristi. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, everybody. Really? Really? Por ahí escucha otro micrófono encendido, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, really? What time do you go to work? What time do you go to work? What time do you go to work? Okay, only Marvin, please. Only Marvin. Marvin Lue. Really? What time do you go to work? Excellent. Good. Now, everybody, everybody, please. I work in the afternoon. I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Start. S -s -s start. I start work at five. Okay, you know that please? Only you. Only you. I please, you know that. I okay. I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Okie dokie. Now, everybody, please, everybody. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? Night? At night? Home at night? Get home at night? You get home at night. When do you get home at night? Good. Now, please, Godofredo. Only you, Godofredo. Sí, teacher. Repeat. Sí, teacher. Repeat this part, please. Repeat this part. Okay. One, two, three. What does late? When do you... Get home at night. Okie dokie. Thank you, everybody. Repeat, please. Ahora todos juntos. Now, I usually... I usually... I usually... Okay, por, por ahí escucho dos micrófonos encendidos. Pero, Fredo, si gusta, me lo paga, por favor. Okay, thank you, thank you. Now, I usually get home at midnight. Midnight. I usually get home at midnight. Larissa, please. Only you. I usually get home at midnight. Thank you. Now, everybody. Midnight. That is late. What do you do exactly? Exactly. What do you do exactly? Avi, please. Only you. Mad night, that is late. What do you do exactly? Okay, good pronunciation, exactly, yes. But it's midnight, right, midnight. Now, everybody, now, everybody. I'm a TV announcer. Announcer. I do the weather report, weather report on KNTV. Do you recognize me? 
like you say, que no me reconoces. <laughs> Don't you recognize me? Okay. Marvin Castro. Marvin, only you, Marvin. Yes. Uh, I'm a TV announcer. I do the watch their report on weather. weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Hey, good pronunciation. Recognize me. Good. Thank you, everybody. Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Okay, let me see. Alguien que no me ha participado esta noche para terminar la clase. Yo, teacher. Okay, please. Me, teacher. Hay dos, dos chicos que me están pidiendo. <laughs> Háganlo dos a la vez. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. Oh, you are Helen oh, Black. You are Helen Black. I love, I love your, your show. show. By the way, I'm Daniel. By the what? I am Daniel. Okay. Thank you very much. Nice, nice. Very good. You were very active tonight. Congratulations to you. Applause for ustedes mismos. Congratulations. Today, I love this class. It was very excellent, right? Uh, especially because you participate a lot. Uh, I don't know if you have any other questions. No sé si hay alguna pregunta extra antes de terminar la clase. Yo tenía una duda con una palabra, teacher. Ok, dígame, Mauricio. Eh, donde dice TV and answer, no sé, algo así. Ah, así ahí. anunciador. ¿Qué es eso? <laughs> Anunciador ah. de televisión. Ah. Así como Moisés Urbina. Que anuncia el. Ah. Ok. Sí, sí. Ok. No, no sé si este se equivoca o no. no sé. <laughs> I don't know. Good. <laughs> Thank you, Mauricio. Now, other no question? Sé. No. Ok. Have a nice weekend. No. Tengan un feliz fin de semana. Si van a salir, pues no se olviden. Protección ante todo. God bless you. Bye Thanks. bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.